Okay, we go to part nine. Second, okay. uh, the understanding of sample of a bill for domestic customer. Uh, kita akan ada account number, station code, name customer, and, and then posit berapa. Then they will give the tariff code. What tariff code are we use? And then latest payment, units of electricity use, and the lamp bill ada. amount of electricity use in RM, and date of the meter reading, dari bila sampai bila, amount of total payable, then meter code, and due date, payment, telephone number, address, and etc. But the most important thing in tariff. And then usage and RM and the date of meter and uh, bill issue. I think but ini yang penting ya. Okay, uh, this one is uh, Tenaga National punya bill for University Telecom. Lebih kurang sama dengan Utama. So here you can see number of this 31 days and then there are the kat sini maximum demand and then ada energy peak 164 and off peak 56 and then md cost berapa dia dah beritahu dikira energy peak dikira berapa oh, so this is important lah uh, the customer bill ni yang kita selalu tengok lah dalam bil kita untuk tengok berapa banyak kita guna dan berapa bil yang kita bayar ok domestic customer means that a consumer occupying a private dwelling which is not used as hotel boarding house or for use for purpose of carrying out any form of business so maknanya tak ada business just untuk tempat tinggal saja trade fashion activities activities pun tak ada source by the uh, TNB so this is the domestic customer punya tarif huh? dia ada beberapa uh, stage all level ni uh, 1 sampai 200 berapa 200 sampai 300 berapa 300 sampai 400 berapa sen huh? and then this one is the old one 2011 but by 2014 they upgrade eh. so daripada beberapa ni dah jadi kurang lah so ni ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 daripada 9 stages dia tukar kepada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 saja. dia eh, kurangkan kategori lah calculating energy consumption in your home office Fuel and energy are interrelated as energy production and is mainly depending on the fossil fuel. Increasing fuel price eventually will cause the in an increase in electricity costs. It is important for us to know how you calculate your own energy consumption in and around your home. Penting untuk kita kira baru kita alert macam mana sebenarnya kita bayar. Jangan nampak bayar saja pada TNB without knowing what we are paying for. Okay, for most consumers, the largest single energy source in the in and around their home or, or office is electricity. Yeah. This tip will focus exclusively on electricity consumption and how to calculate it. The wasteful life style in uh, identified as one of the reason for increasing usage of electricity per capita per manusia lah penggunaan di Malaysia ni per, per person di Malaysia ni uh, tinggi disebabkan oleh satu kerana kita banyak memazir uh, dan kita you know, sometimes we don't care about what we are paying itu yang paling susah sekali and then selection electrical devices and design of home or office will also contribute to this uh, so 
Kena kena pandai pilih Lihat tenaga Bahan Barang Dengan elektrik yang kita guna Dan Jadi satu penting Menggunakan Yang Berkesan untuk uh, Menggunakan elektrik Jadi kalau design rumah tu Terang Boleh dapat keterangan Natural resources Dia tak banyak gunakan elektrik Tapi kalau dia Gelap Design rumah yang gelap Akan banyak gunakan elektrik Ok Kita tengok sini Example of Wattage Electrical appliance in watt yeah, Aquarium Aquarium boleh tahan 50 ke 1200 watt Clock radio tak berapa Coffee maker Boleh sampai 1200 watt Washing machine Boleh sampai 500 watt uh, Dryer ni Cloth dryer ni Kalau boleh jangan guna lah Dia boleh sampai 5 kilowatt uh, Dishwasher ni pun tak perlu Basuh sendiri dengan tangan lebih baik Ceiling fan Wall fan ni tak berapa Uh, hair dryer Benda-benda yang ada alat pemanas eh? Hair dryer Iron Ni ada alat pemanas Microsoft oven Ni pun ada Jadi 1 kilowatt Kalau personal computer For CPU Dia guna 100 ke 120 Dan monitor guna 150 Tapi kalau dia sleep Dia still guna 30 or less dia kena jaga-jaga Kalau tak perlu biar padam lah Laptop ok dia guna kurang Radio stereo guna banyak Refrigerator pun guna banyak Ini pun bergantung juga pada suhu Keadaan semasa Kalau panas makin banyak dia guna Kalau hari sejuk mungkin dia tak guna banyak Television color pula Makin besar makin tinggi Penggunaan elektrik Flat screen kurang Toaster pun banyak Video or DVD player Ok Vacuum cleaner Ini pun satu lagi Yang perlu dijaga-jaga lah Jangan buka oh, Tapi tak ada oh, Tak ada oh, Tak ambil vacuum apa, tak, tak sedut sampah Also note that many appliance Continue to draw small amount of power When they are Switch But not off lah. Ini kita panggil phantom loads kita switch off but then dia still ada menyala uh, especially yang ada LED light merah uh, kalau kita tak guna tapi dia still ada LED merah this one kita panggil phantom load occur in most appliance of that use electricity such as VCR, television, stereo and kitchen appliance, appliance. most phantom load will increase the appliances energy consumption of few watt per hour And this load can be avoided by unplugging the appliance. So unplugging it very important. Kalau tak guna power switch off. Okay, ini electricity pricing and tariff summary. Sarawak Electricity Supply Corporation Sesco. First 100 unit, dia lain. Dia 34 sen. Then the next 300 is 29 sen. And for additional unit per month, kosong 33 sen minimum charges RM5 tapi kalau TNB yang macam biasa saya tunjukkan 200 unit first 21 sen the next is 33 sen and then for each additional bayar 51 sen mahal lah minimum charges RM3 Sabah pun lain sikit lah ha, ni between apa Peninsula Malaysia Sabah dan Sarawak it is a different because dia punya supply company is different.